So right now we are in palace areas. Mm. The whole area is known as a royal enclosure, a royal palace area. Careful, it's big. Don't run. Close, close, yes, sir. It is closed, Above the floor. So that it makes more easy to open and close. Now. And even on top of the door, on this side, you can see. Both sides, there are two holes. That is where they stick the iron rod in it. This can hold the whole balance of the doors from top also. See this hole so much. So during Krishna Deva Raya time, they used to celebrate the Dasara festival in this mm -hmm. area. Yes, and during festival time, they used to sit with his family on top of this and they used to celebrate the festival over there. And above this, there was a wooden shelter over there, which is called Bondon by the Indians. You can see these ruins over here. So that's all ruins of their palace. So above all these small, small walls, this is their palace over there. So the wall, window, roof, everything was made out of wood. And the entire structure was gone down by the invaders. Mm -hmm. Now we have only uh, the basement remains here. The basement of foundation remains here. So now we take a walk up to the back border. You can see the long stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is that wood. It's an ancient pipe, right? So we walk up to there and we wait back to the top of here. What did it happen? Even? This is one of the royal temples. This temple like, was built in a palace premise. That's why this temple is called Hazara Rama Temple. Hazara means it's a palace premise. Okay? And that is the outer wall of the temple. On the outer wall, they carved about festival procession over there. You can see so many elephants, horses, and soldiers, and musical instruments with ladies also. And right in front of this temple, there was a market over there, which is called Pan Supari Bazaar. That can see those uh, the ruins of their buildings. Mm. And especially in this temple, they depict the story of Ramayana there. This one, you can see Ramayana story. Ramayana story, Ritvik. Again, same as what you have seen in all other temples, same thing here as well. The below panel, see they are they, they both fighting on chariot. Mm -hmm. And then it's all Vanada Sena is there and the Rushimuni is there. And this is where they went back to Ayodhya by chariot. And on this wall also they talked about Ramayana here. You can see this. Here they call three different panels here. Look at on the bottom panel here, we can see Rama, Lakshmana, Sita, 
and uh, their brothers also. You can see there, there are four sisters, uh, Sita, Urmila, Mandavi and Shatakirti. Four sisters are there. And on the bottom panel, there they talk about the wedding. Wedding of Rama, Lakshmana, and Sita. No? And then on the middle panel, there we can see the kidnapping Sita by Rama. No? In the top panel, they talked about one of the same. You can see our fish. There are more intricate carvings on this. Black stone. Yes. Karapa black stone. That we can Better we can stand in the center. So I take yes. one nice picture of you. That one is called Lotus Palace. That is called Summer Palace. Yes. And, uh, and uh, that uh, building, arches, you can see that arches and windows, it now seems in shape of lotus petals. Hmm. That's why it's called the Lotus Palace. Yes, yes. And also that building is known as a natural air conditioned palace because this building is got two floors. Hmm. Ground floor and the first floor. Hmm. And the entire ground floor was built with a 24 pillars. Right? Hmm. And they were all 24 pillars are all open inside. Oh. And you can see the windows on top. So that is the first floor of the building that is where Queen and King used to have in the store there. Hmm. On the terrace there is a water tank. Hmm. And especially in summer time, they used to lift water from the well. There is a well next to the building. Hmm. Manually, they lift water from the well and they're filling water tank on top of the building. Okay. After filling water there, that water will come through the hollow pillars by terracotta pipeline. Hmm. Because from top to bottom, it's connected with the terracotta pipeline only. When that water comes through the pillars, it will dry itself because the entire building, it was built by brick and lime plaster. Hmm. So, it was like a dripping system. When that water drip on the bricks, the brick will absorb the water. And the natural wind comes to the building, I mean the entire building is cool. cool and cool. That's why this building is known as a natural air conditioned building. Sir. And that was summer, uh, summer palace. palace. Yes. And uh, on the left hand side there is a staircase to get first floor. Mm -hmm. Nowadays they don't allow to get there because people still keep carving names on these pillars and walls. Yeah. <laughs> so you can just take a walk around there. Maybe on the way back you will do this walk around Elephant stable, man. Stable, where okay. They used yeah. to keep 11 royal elephant in that building, man. 11 royal. 11 royal elephants, man. Yes. You can see there are 11 doors are there, or 11 entrances are there. Each one for ele one elephant, man. Okay. And this building is well decorated with the domes. They were in different designs here, and they were just for recognition of their elephant. Man. And this is what uh, renovated by archaeological people in 1985. You can see this band on his knee. Hmm. It was it was kept by archaeological people to, to make hold sure the that knees. holds through. Yeah. Yes, it's not not come split out. Yes. Sir. Yeah. A black tender. Adi burn chaser pudu, kal chaser gada, adi, adi ala ye Statue out of one single piece of stone and then they built temple around it. Mm -hmm. And this temple it was commissioned to build by a peanut merchant. That's why it's known as a peanut Ganesha. In oh. local language we call it Adale Kadu Ganesha. Adale Kadu means peanuts. Okay. This is also called broken. You can see the stomach and the trunk of Ganesha also got broken. 